So in today's video, we're going to be looking at a question I had about shot lists. Now, I know exactly where this person was going with this question because I have this problem all of the time. A shot list is a key part of any professional paid job. So in terms of shot lists, they come to me in two different ways. So I will get two clients, both come to me saying, we need to do a shoot. One of them will say, we need one day shooting time or a half day shoot. And I'll say, cool. What is it you want me to shoot? And they will send me a shot list. At this point, I start to doubt how much they know about photography. It will have something daft like 30 shots in a half day. And then when I say, how do you propose we get this done? They'll say, well, we've only got budget for a half day. And this is where you have to go back and go, well, if you've only got budget for a half day, you've only got budget for three photographs. You're, you're, what you want and what your money is sort of allowing are two very different things. We then have the flip side where I have a couple of clients who I know really well, we shoot with regularly and they'll say, we need a day shooting, we've got five shots to do. We need a day shooting, we've got 10 shots. When they say that, I know that these shots will be easier shots because they've got such a good understanding of how this all works. They know exactly what's going to happen on the day. And spotting those two different people is very important. The people who say we need this much time for this many shots, they either, they're a very good agency who have worked with many photographers and know how long it will take, or they're not a very good agency, they have no idea what they're doing or they're trying to cram more in for less money and it will be a nightmare. This camp over here, we say no to. I never take those jobs because there is no winning in them. They will either pay the extra money and be annoyed that they paid more to get the job done or we will cram it in and I will lose money. There's no good outcome for these. These are a no-go clients. We just say no to them, we don't work with them. Now, there's another type of approach which happens and that is, we need this shooting, how long will it take? And this terrifies me because I always think if I quote too long, they're going to think I'm trying to fleece them for money. If I don't quote long enough, I'm not gonna get the job done or it's not going to be good enough. And it's a stressful ordeal. However, experience is your friend. This is not the time to say, well, I'll charge you this much an hour because nobody's going to go for that because they'll think you'll be on go slow mode to get more, more done. What I would do is go, how long is this going to take? How long do I think it's going to take? I will do that. But what I'll say to them is, I think it's going to be a day's work. If it takes longer, I'll take the hit. Now, it's not always viable if you've got stylists on set as well. But if it's, you know, a very straightforward shoot, just take the hit yourself and then you'll build that experience. And next time you get that sort of job, you go, God, that took so long to do. I need to book two days in for this. Or we were done by lunch. It looked really bad that I'd booked a whole day in. I need to be just more on it and go, look, it's going to take half a day. So when it comes to the shot list, it's often a really good filter process for whether you should take the job or not. Anyone saying it has to take this long and whether they don't really have the experience or you look at it and go, well, that's clearly not going to be that quick to do. Anyone who says, I need two hours of your time, not a good client. There is, there's very few times when you need a half day shoot. Most shoots take a day or over a half day, at least maybe two thirds of a day. Because by the time you set up, shot, packed down, backed up, it's pretty much eight hours. So it's a really good process here to go through. Look at these inquiries that come in, try and work out what they're doing. And I know it's difficult when you're starting out because you want work and you need money. So in your head, you're going, well, I should take this job here. It looks like a nightmare, but I need the money. And sometimes you have to do that, but just mentally tick off in your head going, this is going to be a nightmare job. This client wants more than we can achieve in the time for less money than it's going to take but I need the money. So I'm going to take it this time. But in the future, when I see that sort of thing coming in, I'm aware that it's not for me. So I hope this sort of helps with the question about shot lists and trying to work out how long to allow for shots. And it's such a how long's a piece of string question. If somebody wants a quick photograph of a burger, how long does that take? Well, it depends on how good they want it to be. It might take a day. It might take 10 minutes. It's all relative. And it's all about communication in these situations. If you have any questions you'd like me to answer, pop them in the comments below. I think this is going to be a new weekly thing. It wasn't planned, but it's happening anyway. So there we go. Drop them down there. I'll do my best to get around to them and I'll see you all next time.